So today guys, I showcase to you four unique, unreleased, legendary weapons, which some are truly amazing. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. And also guys, if you never want to miss any of my uploads, do turn notifications on by pressing that bell button. So since near the beginning of the game, there's been a couple of weapons which have been a part of the game files, which haven't dropped for anybody. The only way to get said legendaries is to extract them from the game files on PC, basically spawning them in for yourself. Those two are old weapons though, and they were known as the Mongol and the R-Y-N-A-H. These two have been known about for an absolute while, but there are now four more new ones that have been found amongst the game files, and today we check them out. Now before we go any further, I tried my absolute hardest to make it clear to myself that the items are legit items from the game files and were not created and I can confirm from the many sources of info I have seen and been told do state this. So these really ain't modded weapons, they've just been extracted from the game files because they don't drop anywhere in game currently. What's weird about the weapons though is the fact that they have the date on them from DLC 2 of Guns of Love and Tentacles. That's when it seems they were added into the game files, but yet nobody's had them drop, which is weird. Now credit to Simaj Newab for actually sending me these items from PC. Full credit to him for everything this video is based on. So here we have four weapons. The Pixel Dream Shotgun, which is a TDO weapon. The P2P Networker, which is a Malo 1 SMG. We have the Bite Size, which is a Jacob's Pistol. And we have the Portals and Shite, which is a Atlas Assault rifle. So let's check them out in a little more detail, starting with the Dream Gun, which is a TDO shotgun, and it does look incredible, a lot like the Anarchy. It's all in your head is that red text, and on paper, its stats ain't the best, but considering these haven't been scaled to a Mayhem 10, I think they ain't too bad at 1429 times 7 on this variant, which is quite powerful. One thing I will say though is I cannot confirm these will be the game's in-game true numbers as if they are unreleased, they could change before they actually drop into the game. So it's part of the trick is, on reload you have a chance to drop the weapon out of your hands people, in which you have to shoot it to either pick it up, or locate a legendary icon on your map to grab it. Otherwise that reload you throw the weapon out, and it acts like TDO weapons do in a variety of different ways. This is no different, and no doubt variants of this when in game would act the same. Now using it on Mayhem 4, and I'm doing this because like I said the weapon hasn't been scaled to a Mayhem 10, I will tell you it's quite powerful. It isn't the most powerful in the game, but it is quite powerful. It doesn't touch that anarchy though, when it's got them 10 stacks whatsoever, but you wouldn't expect it to. So all in all it's a decent shotgun, it really is. So let's move on and next up on the list of unreleased legendaries is the P2P Networker. And this is a Malawan SMG and this weapon again looks amazing that's for sure. And no people, you wouldn't download a car. This SMG is a 2 times variant with the ability to switch out the element at any time. Now the way it acts is a lot like the usual Malawan SMGs in this game. This one though does offer a decent magazine size. And its second firing mode has a weird name of Gun Team Please Fix Mode Name. 
Now I was told this was like this because it was believed the weapon hadn't been finished in game yet, but to me with the design and the name theme on this weapon, it in my opinion kind of makes sense that they would call it this. And it kind of fits the theme of this game and how things are. So using the weapon to me doesn't feel anything special if I'm honest. I mean it isn't terrible by a long shot, it's just there are much better SMGs in the game right now. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on and onto the bite sized Jacob's pistol. And yet, so filling. The pistol is amazing. Straight to the point, people, you know what I'm like. On paper, we see it has a low magazine size, but it does come with decent damage. And it is very unique in the way it works. So, upon shooting it, we can see it's actually a beautiful firing weapon, shooting like Nova bombs. Now, its party trick seems as though it sticks a projectile, and upon firing it, it later explodes. The projectile under my testing deals four times the damage of that of the initial shot, so it's quite powerful for sure. And if I'm honest, out of four weapons today, I definitely feel this is the best of them all, and the one I feel you guys would want most. And using it in Mayhem 4, it feels absolutely great. And it would definitely fit into my build if I could get a Mayhem 10 version of it. So the bite sized Jacob's pistol is an amazing little addition. Well, it would be if it was an addition. Ok so lastly guys we have the Portal and Shite which is an assault rifle made by Atlas. This is beyond science. Now firstly when you say Atlas assault rifles one thinks of the OPQ system which is by far the best assault rifle in the game right now and because this comes from the same family what we'd normally do is compare the two. Well firstly let me say this is nothing like the OPQ system, not in any way is it that good of a weapon. But that doesn't mean this is bad. It isn't at all. Looking at it on paper, for a Mayhem 4 weapon it's quite powerful. And using it in barrel it kind of feels the same. It has 4 firing modes, one being a tracker grenade, which upon you firing it, it bounces and gives off a decent radius for those tracking smart bullets. But other than that, I couldn't really figure out anything unique about it apart from it looking pretty cool. I'd rate it with the top Atlas weapons in the game, but it isn't the best, it's not better than the OPQ system. Not in my opinion anyway. And yeah guys, those were the 4 unreleased legendary weapons where it seems they were added into the game files when the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC was released. Whether or not they were made for that DLC I ain't sure, 
If they were made for anything later though, I'm pretty certain many of the weapons we are seeing now with the Mayhem 6 Plus exclusives and probably even the Revenge of the Cartels event legendaries, we would have seen these being picked up too. But who knows? So yeah guys, 4 unique unreleased legendary weapons. I wonder if we'll ever see these anytime soon. Saying that, going off the details of the two launches that have been here since the near start of this game's release and still haven't made an appearance, I wouldn't get my hopes up about any of these weapons. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Anything.